Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you an easy way to install Firefox browser to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's actually one of the best browsers that you can get to your TV devices. And this setup is also going to be really easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So first of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device and start typing Downloader in the search bar. As you can see, the loader already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter whole name of the app. We click on the loader right here, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still need to set it up. So to set up the loader, you gotta go to settings, here they are, open them, then scroll down and open My Fire TV. So let's click on it. And here you have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. To do so, we gotta go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then you gotta go to install unknown apps. From here, locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those which are only available in the official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, open it. And there's the downloader, which is kind of set up and ready to use. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Finland right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your computer or your mobile phone, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you 3 months of NordVPN for free. And now finally, let's use the loader safely. So we need to open the downloader app, wait until it loads for you. Then on the left side menu, make sure to click on home, that's really important. And there, in that search bar, we need to enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the whole code is 28907, and then you have to click on go. Now you just gotta wait until the website opens up for you. And now when the website has opened, you just need to scroll down a bit until you see that list of categories. And from the list, you have to click on browsers. Then a list of browser apps is going to open up for you. And from here, obviously, you need to click on Firefox. So there it is, click on it. After that, a new web page is going to open up, which you also need to scroll down. Keep scrolling until you see that download button for Fire Sticks or Android TVs. If for some reason it doesn't work for you and the download doesn't start, you can always use the back of download link, which is just below the usual download button. So now let's click on download, and in a couple of moments the download should start for you. Yep, as you can see, it was happening really fast for us. Then you need to click on install right here and wait until Firefox installed to the Fire Stick. After that, do not click on open yet, instead press on done because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, 
as we really do not need it anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you are saving yourself some free space on your device. Now finally let's go to the list of apps on your device. So go to the right side and there it is, open it. Then scroll down and here at the bottom you'll find Firefox browser, which we just installed to the Fire Stick. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way Firefox is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. Once again, you can use the link below the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com to get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free. And of course, subscribe my channel for more content on Fire Sticks. See you next time. Bye bye.